What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So, let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this very bottom, and I've told you that we have to complete a five-wave structure inside the latest wave, and uh, pretty much, we pretty much completed it right here. And uh, my assumption was that when we have this, uh, when we will have this uh, type of uh, price action, we will have a bounce to the upside, then retra retracement, and we will break this previous uh, swing high. Definitely it will be a quite bullish sign if the volume will confirm that this is uh, the motive wave. Unfortunately the volume is not so high and in my technical analysis in just several minutes I will show you what should we expect next, but for now let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all, let me show you that on their official website we don't have any press releases that might drive for the price of this asset either way. Uh, the latest one uh, was made on October 13th and I covered it in my previous video. We also don't have any fundamental news on their official uh, Twitter account. We have uh, just uh, an update uh, uh, related to its uh, technical uh, part uh, of the vehicles and uh, not uh, so many news uh, for the fundamental uh, purposes. And uh, right here we have uh, just an uh, article, just a mention in this uh, article that uh, Lucid Group might be uh, very attractive from the investor standpoint because of a strong backlog for Lucid Air and aggressive international expansion. And this will drive for the growth uh, once supply chain challenges ease. So, definitely it is quite a bullish statement, but it doesn't have uh, any fundamentals behind it. And uh, let me show you some news that uh, are not uh, so obvious. Uh, uh, you all know that Barry uh, that uh, holds this uh, Barry Bears Workshop uh, Twitter account makes a very good job uh, of uh, flyovers uh, around the different uh, plants and uh, his recent flyover was made uh, just 14 hours ago basically yesterday and uh, here is uh, the spot uh, here is uh, the a lot of uh, the uh, lucid air vehicles and right here you can see that uh, lucid uh, has a lot of vehicles on their delivery uh, lot and uh, definitely this might drive uh, their fundamentals they, this might drive uh, their sales higher because uh, previously and i covered it in uh, one, my latest video uh, they delivered uh, just let me show it to you they delivered uh, just uh, 1398 vehicles out of 2282 vehicles produced so and uh, these uh, two uh, numbers were very scary because uh, we don't know where these uh, vehicles undelivered, where all of these undelivered vehicles stored. And uh, right now probably we might see uh, at least part of these vehicles right here on this uh, delivery lot. And uh, definitely if it is the case uh, we might see an increase in their production rate uh, for Q4 2022. But this catalyst uh, will be disclosed only in uh, the very beginning of 2023 when we will see their earnings report for the Q4 2022 and full year 2022. But right now we are awaiting uh, their upcoming earnings report and uh, let me uh, switch to daily time frame. Uh, as you can see, it is scheduled on November the 8th, and this means we have uh, about two weeks uh, of uh, trading sessions uh, until this uh, earnings report will be published. And definitely, November the 8th might be a pivotal point for this asset, because uh, right now, let me show you the short interest uh, for this asset. The short interest percent of float is 21.54%. It is exactly the same that uh, I covered previously, but the off-exchange short volume ratio is 52.68%. And it is uh, much lower than uh, it uh, had uh, it was previously. Uh, let me show you somewhere here. Wait a second. 
right here we have 52.68% uh, and previously it was 61.69% and previously it was 68.54%. This means we have uh, three consecutive days of uh, decreasing in this number. But uh, let me show you that uh, according to this data we have only 10,000 shares available for shorting. This means uh, we might uh, see some kind of uh, potential of short squeeze. And definitely you cannot be sure about this uh, short squeeze for 100% because uh, we have uh, to see a lot of uh, conditions that should be met. And uh, definitely right now we have this possibility and it is higher than it was previously. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let's switch to hourly time frame and let me show you the latest movements in details. As you can see right here, we uh, exceed uh, the price action exceeded uh, its previous swing high and we broke uh, this uh, range of resistance. But it didn't break, as you can see right here, this uh, previous uh, swing high. And uh, this means uh, we cannot uh, establish, uh, we cannot uh, consider this movement to the upside as the, the trend reversal. And we don't have higher highs and higher lows. We have uh, just a movement to the upside that doesn't have enough volume to be the confirmation of uh, the trend reversal. This means any of uh, our long positions are still quite risky and that's why uh, if you want to catch the trade and uh, probably uh, you decided that uh, this uh, price action uh, was the signal that uh, we can accumulate the position right here. Definitely it is not the 100% certainty, but without the volume we cannot rely on this movement to the upside as the trend reversal movement. That's why if you want to have more confirmation just wait. You won't miss this movement, uh, but uh, if you want to invest in this asset, just do your own due diligence and accumulate on every daily red candle. Because uh, in general, let me switch uh, to daily time frame and let me zoom out a little bit. In general, we have a very good uh, price action uh, uh, to the downside, very good uh, quote on quote price action because uh, we don't have major retracements and uh, this uh, price action that uh, is uh, pretty much uh, sideways movement for several weeks shows the support, uh, potential support range at roughly $12 mark. And uh, in bare case scenario, if uh, this asset will go lower, definitely the next major range of support will be the $10 mark. That is the base price uh, for the uh, investors uh, before this pack merger happened. And uh, definitely we are about, uh, let me show it to you, we are at about 22% to this uh, range. And uh, definitely in worst case scenario, we might hit it and uh, have a bounce from this level. And that's why you have to be prepared for this from the investment standpoint and uh, I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag,